Hey, how you doing, Holmes here, and welcome back to some more Elden Ring walkthrough, real walkthrough, now playthrough with my Dex build. And yeah, welcome back. Uh, today we are going to be taking on Astel, the natural born void, I believe that's his full name. Usually I just fight the boss and not even remember what their names are. Anyways, there's a side of uh, Marika here, or Stake Marika, so. If something does go wrong during the boss fight, we can just spawn back here instead of uh, going all the way back to uh, the side of grace that's at uh, Lake, of, Lake of Rot. And do equip this uh, talisman here so we can well, consume less FP as we use uh, Bloodhound Step. Because Bloodhound Step is going to be tremendously useful during this fight. And for this fight, we're going to try to stay near its head area. Uh, preferably like right underneath ish its head like you want to hug the head close and then just you can jump attack or you can just whack them like that with dual wielding either or i'm probably gonna try my luck with uh jump attacks so here we go so you get into the fight most of the time it will just do this you can use the sound cue to kind of hear when it's gonna when that attack's gonna be fully charged if you're mid-ranged it's either gonna do this swiping attack at you or it'll use its tail to kind of poke you, so be careful. So you can just dodge into the boss. This thing will bite like twice. Sometimes if you're in front of him, it'll bite three times. The slam attack, you can use Bloodhound Step to avoid that. Or if you're far away enough, you can just run away from it. Or underneath him, either or. I don't know what it did. Okay. If it's going to teleport away, it does have that blast, so be careful. That's a grab. And it'll do a lot of damage if you get tagged by that, so be careful. You can Bloodhound step into him to avoid that. Or if you want to be a hard ass, you can also roll into him to avoid that. Now oh, we got bitch that. Oh my god. Alright, alright, alright. It's doing its tail attack. Got us with a bite attack, but not too bad. It's gonna teleport away, so we're gonna Bloodhound step away as it teleports. If its eye glows like that, just run towards him because it's gonna meteor shower you like that. And sometimes you will get tagged like I did. But 90% of the time it'll miss. Uh, if you want to play it more safe, you can also Bloodhound step into him as he's doing it. Slam attack, that's gonna hit three times. Damn it, I got stuck on the legs. Oh shit. That's kind of like a grab. It's more like a grab and slam because if you're inside that, it'll. It'll bring you up in air, in the air, and then it'll slam you down, and there's nothing you can do about it. Damn it! I was trying to dodge back into. All right. Get the, get the head. Shit! That was too close. Okay. We'll do it. Oh, massive slam, just gonna Bloodhound step way the hell away. Alright, it's teleporting away, where's it gonna go? Over here, it's probably gonna do that meteor shower again. Alright, just run towards him. See, you just keep running towards him. Like, don't stop until the attack's over. Just keep running towards him. Don't stop attack. Uh, don't stop running until the attack is over and then that's how you um, guarantee your safety that you saw its teeth like glow like that that's actually a grab it's not as devastating as the one where it teleports above you but it can still hurt so do be careful about that uh, this boss can I believe get hit by Scarlet Rod. I 
think, okay, I'm not 100% on the Scarlet Rot thing. I know it can bleed for sure, so if you have a weapon that can cause bleed, that can work. Oh, well, here is the re Remembrance. And yeah, that's basically it for this boss. There is a side of grace that it will appear after defeating the boss, and we also have a lot of uh, runes, so we can actually level up. I'm just gonna pour that all onto uh, Vigor here. Vigor check. <laughs> So that's good. And I don't think we can upgrade our flask, right? Yeah, we need five and I think we only have two at the moment. Let's just double check that real quick. Oh, we have three. Okay, so we just need two more. And the way to go is over here. We're going to take out one of the dragons that we saw last time as we were going towards Ronnie's rise there was a dragon that we fought a little bit I think at least I think I fought him well either way you can't kill that dragon at that point it's just gonna fly away I think we just took him on a little bit and then it flew away uh, and it's gonna be right here so yeah we'll do that and then we'll grab some pickups on the side so we can upgrade our weapon a little bit more fight Rodagon's red wolf again and then if we still have enough time we'll do one of the the puzzles all right just call up your horse and come on over this way actually would it be better if I just I think it might be better if I go and go towards the side right now so we can get the the pickups that, that might be a better choice actually so we'll save the dragon for later <laughs> there are dragons down here but we're not gonna take these on not yet at least we will take them on eventually but not not right now so there's one that's moving and there's one that's sleeping right here so just use the one that's sleeping kind of like as a landmark. So after you pass the one that's sleeping. Yeah, yeah. Go beyond these rocks, drop down here by this tree. And then just run straight here from the left side. Okay, there are going to be some crystal enemies here, but we're not going to worry too much about them. Just do your best to kind of zigzag around and avoid them. Hell, got me in the kidney area. For a second there, I thought it got me in the ass. And Rodagon's wolf is here. Is what I'm talking about. Okay. We're gonna deal with him the same way. There's the uppercut. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. Heal up. Okay, we're gonna heal. Uppercut bite and then jump attack. Pretty much like you're opening to get some damage in. Unless you can catch him there. Yep. Oh, he got himself stuck. Yep. 
and heal again. <laughs> Playing it safe. But I'll step away from that. Wait for the uppercut. It's not doing it. We got him. Okay, didn't burn as much flasks I thought as I thought I would. Okay, not too bad. Anyways, uh, the point of coming over here and not skipping that guy is we get a crap ton of smithing stones. So level seven smithing stone, that's three right there, and then this should be level eight. Yep, three level eight smithing stone. Another three level seven smithing stone. That's total of six. That's gonna enhance our weapon quite a bit, so that's pretty good. Um, and that is pretty much all that there is to what well, this place has to offer. Uh, there is a scarab right over there that can give you back uh, healing flasks if you need them. But I don't need them right now, so it's all right. And. There is where I want to go. There is a side area right here. It's very missable, but if you hug the, I guess, the edge, you can find this cliff or this tiny mountain here. You just make your way over here. There isn't anything crazy that spawns here. So you're safe to, uh, you know, just walk, walk on over. And then hit up this side of grace. Okay, how are we doing on... Actually, we can use this to level up. I mean, yeah, to level up our weapon. So, as we are... As we take on the dragon, it'll be a lot easier. The dragon can be kind of a pain in the ass sometimes. So... Yeah, I want to buff my weapon a little bit. I might as well have been dead. So, plus 20 Nagakiba. 25 is the highest. So, we're almost there. Uh, we just need four more of the level 8s. And we can spare some upgrades for our longbow. Because our offhand Uchi Katana, it's, it requires level 5, so then we'll. Just use the rest, like we'll just use the rest of uh, the level fours on our bow, since we do sometimes, you know, cheese enemies from afar, and I think that's good. Anyways, let's head on back over. Um, yeah, let's go to this altar. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the. What do you call it? The puzzle. Do the puzzle first. And then we'll take on the dragon and we'll talk to Rodney. So that is the plan. Let's put it to the test. <laughs> or put it to work. Alright, so once you're back in the moonlight altar, just come on over here to this book. Here of this book is going to ask you to seek three great wise beasts. Alright, and my stomach just crowned. <laughs> Anyways, so these wise beasts are these giant turtles, which you'll see on the side right here. Just use your bow or some kind of projectile to hit that one. And then the next one will be uh, right here. So just put your marker down on this thing right here. And then we can make a straight shot to it from horseback. So let's go ahead and do that. It's going to be on the side over here, so you don't have to find any uh, any enemies. There are going to be some of, like crystal snails. So it's kind of like the snails that we dealt with in Volcano Manor, but these ones have like crystals on their back, and I believe it shoots frost instead of poison. So with that, you can straight up just avoid them as well. You don't have to fight them. Um, there's also going to be some wolves. Yeah, see, you don't have to fight them as well. Just Gonna cross this forest here. Grab whatever pickup you want. Control the wolves a little bit if you want. 
and just make your way over here so once you get up here besides these tree here you're gonna see that little pillar I guess and then you're gonna see two turtles or three turtles on the side there so what you're seeking is this little part here and then pull your bow look down that's where the second wise beast is going to be at you shoot an arrow and that's how you get the second one now we can warp to the third one the third one's going to be over there you can warp to it um which i guess we will kind of <laughs> warp to it so what I'm going to do is, since we warped, I think this cancels out, like, the spawn. Like, it makes it despawn. Okay, so, make sure you hit up the book again. And the, the first two that we took out shouldn't be back. So let's just double check real quick. Yeah, see, that one's not on the side anymore. Make sure you do that, okay. Uh, reason for, like hitting the book again it's cuz if you don't like if you don't talk to the book again and you go to the third one if you warped it doesn't show up I don't know why like it, it it's just not there and the way to trigger it to like respawn it's uh you have to come back here hit up the book and then run to it okay if you fast travel at any point or if you die, I think it also counts. So, yeah. If it's not spawning in, then just come talk to the book again. You don't have to worry about the ones that you like you took down before. Just worry about this one. You can see it flying right there. This one, I don't think you can hit it with arrows. At least I've tried. I've never managed to land my shots. So the way to do this one is you get this spirit spring here. Hello. Jump and as as long as you tap it, it'll work. And now the the seal on the rise is now open. So what we can do is you can just warp back to this side of grace and we can now access this area. And the Wi Fi has been lost again. <laughs> Alright, whatever. Just, just don't lose the Wi-Fi as I'm uploading this, please. I don't really care if the Wi-Fi gets lost uh, as I'm recording, because I don't play online anyways. So, And I believe this is like the only thing that's in this tower. I've checked everywhere else. Um, there's nothing. And what's in this tower, you ask? Well... I will show you. It's a spell. Ronnie's Dark Moon. Okay, so that's what's here. And don't mistake this as uh, Renala's, I think, Full Moon? Because they're two, it looks the same, but they're two like different spells, I guess. This one can inflict, um, I think can, it can build up Frost. And the other one, I think, is just a straight up like regular attack, if I'm not that mistaken. So yeah, that's it for that. Uh, let's go ahead and go back to the Moonlight Altar, and then we'll take on the the dragon there. All right, now for the dragon. Um, I want to run over a few things here real quick for the strategy for the dragon. Um, the dragon has two kind of breath attacks. One of them is the basic fire attacks. And then the, other, the second one is crystal magic attack. We can survive a barrage of that on our current build. Like on our current level. But the safe way I want to do it is keep the fight near this building. So when it does charge up that attack you can run into this building and use the walls as cover. Uh, you can tell because the attack is going to be dark blue. So when you see dark blue forming at its mouth, that means it's going to be the crystal. If it's sky blue, 
um, that means it's gonna be fire. Okay. Uh, another unique attack it has is this frost blade I can do, which you can just chase its tail, just keep running straight, and that's how you avoid it. It's kind of like a stealth. Uh, when it flies up, you know, just just chase its tail, or uh, or a stealth's case, I guess, when it's uh when it's doing the meteor, just chase its back or its tail. Same shit, different monster. So here we go. Uh, let's put the strategy to the, to test. Mm. Like all the other dragons, we're just gonna rush up to its back leg, back leg, and whack it to death, or whack it as much as possible to death. All right, sky blue. That's just fire. Okay, you can run into him. Tail sweep. We can also use the rock on our left side to uh, as cover. If it does do the crystal attack, I will drop its health down to a, I guess a reasonable amount, and then I guess this is good enough. All right, the frost blade. See, just run into him and that's how you avoid that. Did it lose me? Hello? There you go. Alright, fire straight. Just go left side. Same as all the other dragons. If it does the crystal thing, I might be screwed here. Okay, it's doing the crystal thing. Can I use this as cover? Yeah. You need to find some sort of cover. Otherwise, your best option is probably to tank it. But if you're following this build, you should have enough health. God damn it, it's sweet, it's fire. Oh, Jesus. Alright. And that's pretty much all it's... I guess... Unique attack was. Oh shit, what's it doing? Oh, it's a sweep. It's a sword sweep. I thought I was going to do a fire thing, because it does have this quick fire that I can do, where it flies up, and then it just um, do the flame sweep real quick. And that's it. That's how you take down this dragon, Adula, Glintstone Dragon Adula. Yeah, Adula's Moonblade. I'm pretty sure this is what it, it was using when it flew up. So it's kind of like Sif, but dragon form <laughs> with the sword. And uh, yeah, you get a whole bunch of uh, Starlight Shards here. So make sure you grab them all. Uh, and here's a side grace. You could hit this up first before fighting a dragon if uh, that makes it feel safer, I guess. Although, like, I guess the distance is not too far, but I guess this is closer. You hit up this. It's kind of the same, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> it doesn't really matter to me. So you light this, and Ronnie's gonna be on the bottom, so we're gonna go see her right now. Just drop down onto this cave here. There are platforms. You can take your mount the whole way, I'm just walking. There's nothing to pick up other than uh, to talk to Ronnie. Well, upon talking to her and watching her cutscene, then you can pick up something else.
So it was thee who would become my lord. Perhaps I needn't have warned thee. I am pleased, however. Thou art a fitting choice. I go now to the night sky. It is there I shall find mine order. I bid thee travel the path of the Lord. And once all is done, we shall see each other once more. Dark Moon Greatsword. So yeah, this is the famous <laughs> Moonlight Greatsword, Dark Moon Greatsword, whatever the heck kind of Greatsword you want to call it. It's like in all the Souls games except for Sekiro, which is very interesting. And yeah, that's pretty much it for Ronnie's questline. Um, it is... It is getting kind of, I don't know if you want to call it early or late, but it's 6 a.m. right now and traffic is picking up. So I am going to call it a run here. I know there is some more stuff we're going to do in the Moonlight Altar and we can also go fight Belide again. Um, but we'll save that for, I guess, our probably next episode or some cleanup episode. I don't know. So yeah, uh, let's go ahead and level up real quick and we'll call it a run. Oh, we can only level up once. Okay. Or, I mean, we can only cap our vigor. And, yeah, that's that. Thank you all so very much for watching. And hopefully this video has helped. And if it did, hopefully y'all will stay tuned for more. But until next time, I hope to catch y'all later. Ohms. Uh, oops.